Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles, and welcome to the Farm and Home Show. Well, we've had moisture and some warmer temperatures, and anytime that happens, we're gonna have growth, and sometimes we have weeds. And so Dr. Travis Legleiter with the University of Kentucky is a weed scientist there, is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, today you're gonna talk about some weeds, but yes. these weeds aren't so popular. <laughs> no, 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 they're not popular farmers at all, so uh, they don't like them much at all. So this is uh, mare's tail, um, or horseweed, whichever you want to refer to it. Um, it's a winter annual that uh, we have here in Kentucky. Uh, many other states deal with it as well. But now this one particularly causes some problems though, so let's talk about some of the issues. Right, so with mare's tail, one of the big things is uh, is resistance, herbicide resistance. So uh, typically mare's tail is one of the first weeds that will become resistant to a herbicide. So uh, glyphosate, for example, uh, it was one of the first weeds we were able to find resistance in. So it, it adapts very quickly. Um, and, and the other thing that really causes a lot of issues is it emerges uh, throughout the year, really. So we get some that emerges in the fall and some that emerges in the spring and then some that also emerges during the summer. So that can make things difficult. Makes control a little tricky. It then. does, because it's all about timing. It, you have to time it for basically all of those different emergencies. Wow, so we all have to be on our toes. Now this one is a smaller, because usually yeah. when we get calls or when it's brought into the extension office, they're much larger than this. They are much larger than that. <laughs> usually they're a couple feet tall. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but, uh, and the reason I brought these small plants is because this is when we need to be identifying them. This is when we need to be spraying them. Uh, our control tactics, our herbicides that we use are much more effective when we spray plants that are this small. Uh, when we're spraying those bigger plants, it's it's tough to get control of them. So let's talk about the mature plant and what it looks like, because I think most people are probably more right, familiar right, with that than this. Right. So, so the mature plant, we say it's bolted, but basically it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a foot or two tall. Basically, rather than this rosette, there'll be a stem that comes up, and then the leaves will look similar to this, but they're all around that, that stem. So it's kind of a world leaves all the way that up that stem all the way to the top. Okay, is there something that is is really characteristic about that? Because if you hear farmers talk about horse weed or they have all kinds of names, right, it right. seems like. Right, yeah, yeah. So it's it's just basically that one uh, that one stem with the leaves around it. And then when it puts on a seed head, it's just a big fluff of white, um, those big white seed heads. And uh, that seed scatters everywhere. So the seed blows in the wind. So that's the other reason why it's very troublesome is even though if you're doing everything correctly, uh, just the guy down the road may not be, and so you can get some of his seed. So that also is what makes it a little bit difficult. And this is right here in South Central Kentucky. Is it pretty widespread throughout the state? I know we've been having a lot of Yeah, so it, it's pretty widespread throughout the state. Um, you know, where there's a lot more no-till practice, it does. it is more of a predominant weed, and that's just because it, it thrives in no-till. Mm, okay, so. so when we see it this small, is it out there now? Yes, you can go out there and find it out there right now. So, so uh, the stuff that came up in the fall is probably going to be about this size. It's had some time, even though it's been a little bit cooler this this winter and this spring. It's the, we still had enough. We've had enough heat and certainly enough moisture to let it get to this uh, height. And you're going to see some that are much smaller than this too that are coming up this spring, and they'll continue to come up this spring. Okay, so if we if we know that we have this or have had it last year, we probably need to start looking for it again. Yes. Now you mentioned some resistance, that this might be one of the first ones. Do we have control options? Yes, you, you, we still have control options with these. Uh, uh, really the, the time we need to be controlling them is in our burn down and so we do have control options. So as far as resistance, you know, there, there's glyphosate resistance that would be round up uh, that they're resistant to and they're resistant to several of our ALS inhibitors. So uh, products like Classic and First Rate, uh, they can have a tendency to be resistant to those as well. But we do have uh, multiple other products out there now available to us to help control these in our burn down programs. Okay, so especially for farmers. Now do we see much of this in right of and in other non-farm areas? Areas. Not a lot. You'll see a little bit of it, but it's not uh, not as predominant. So uh, in our farm fields, it, that's where it kind of predominates. And again, it, it's a lot to do with the systems that we have. The, the no-till system is set up really nicely for these weeds. They thrive in that type of environment. Um, so tillage, uh, these, these weeds do not handle tillage. 
uh, just the slightest bit of tillage and they're, they're gone. So, okay. um, and I'm not saying we should be tilling up all of our ground again. Right. So we, but we, if you have a massive problem that you can't right, get right, a hold of, that right. might be an option. Yeah, yeah, so, but that might be an option. So, um, but it's certainly manageable with the herbicides we have in no-till. So, and just uh, the competitive environment that it has in those fields, it's, it's able to deal with that. Whereas in a right of way, it doesn't necessarily. Okay, all right, excellent information. Certainly appreciate that. And if you have any questions about weeds or control, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for visiting with yeah, us no today, problem. Travis. Thank you. We appreciate you watching and we hope that you have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.